Nancy, 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 that's right, it's time for more Nancy Drew, and I'm your Gibbs, of course, of course I am, who else would I be? I guess I could be anyone, but I'm your Gibbs, so there you go, that's who I am. Now we're in the alchemy lab, and what I did get in the last episode was this cool mold thing, but I don't know what to do with it just yet, but we'll hold on to that for now. And there is papers and parchments all over this place. Like there's little pieces of paper like this. And then when I scroll down here, there's like more papers. Another one over here. My dear initiate. Oh. Nancy's talking. Congratulations for progressing this far. Your goal will not be in sight, but it's very, very close. I leave this for you because the the Athenar Okay, I'm not even sure what that is. It can be daunting. And not a little discouraging. Just bear in mind that to use it, you must first light it and be... And to light it, you must first give it four things. Earth, in liquid form, air, water, and fire. Should you require more information, consult the Mutus Liber or something. Even my grandfather Corbin apparently did with so much frequency. Penelope Penvalin. Wow, this letter was written more than 200 years ago. A 200-year-old letter, wow. I regret that we shall never meet, but you will get a glimpse into my life when you encounter my contribution to the security of our treasure. Likewise, where I somehow able to project myself into the future, I would learn something about you. Were I to come across the obstacle which I wish you will have created. Blackmore Manors is indeed the sum of uh, the hearts and minds of all who have dwelt here. Okay, Penelope. What else is going on? Master of the Winds. Master of the Winds, the ancients believe that Zelos was the keeper of the four winds. Zephyrus, the west wind, Eurus, the north wind, Falfanus, the south wind, and Eurus, the east wind. Okay, something about winds. Another book with no name. Oh, huh, this is interesting. What's this? A peephole. I remember looking through the peephole. Around and around we go. Remember, I think that's peepholes where we actually saw uh, Linda with her hairy hands. My dear initiative, pride of the Penvalin heritage. Here you will face many trials, but persevere. For your reward shall be the knowledge of those who have passed before you and the honor of those to come. You have demonstrated your worthiness by negotiating the moving rooms and mastering the alchemy test which our father Albert created to promote oh, to protect his laboratory. Now you will help protect our heritage by creating yet another test for new initiatives to pass. For my part I have set this tradition in motion with the establishment of the rules of Penvalin inheritance and have enlisted the Bosni family to oversee our efforts and discovery. Ah, oh, that's the, uh, what was the lady's name? Ether, Ethel? Ether? <laughs> I don't know why Ether comes to mind. Anyway, so that's the uh, tutor. Okay, that's interesting. There are six columns in the Great Hall, each hiding a brave knight who will direct the movement of the Oil of Enlightenment to this forge in which a key shall be created to reveal the secret of our father. Wow, on and on and on. 1547. Oh, Thomas, 1580. Eleanor. Huh. Water. Mercury. 1703. I like how it's different, like, writing or font or whatever. It's pretty cool. 1775. 1875-1826. Man or woman, right? That's what they said here. Aha! My computer will help you find the Saturn key. Be not afraid. I share the sentiments of our dear distant grandmother Penny. I too wish to have known my children be strong and just in all that you do. P.S. A great shortcut through Father Albert's moving rooms is to open and close the Mars door two times. Yeah, I figured that out actually. And then turn around and voila! 
You're home. Okay, was that all there was to see here? All the way to the end. So this looks like a book I would take with me because it's got all these clues in it. Okay, so what else is in this room? There's this fellow over here. And then... That was the door. Nothing here. Uh, we had a, a wet stone over here. Nothing else. Another book. I think I looked at this book in the last episode. So I'll just kind of quickly go through it here. I can, can I even... There we go. More parchments. I wonder what it would smell like in here with all this old stuff. Like, so this stuff's like 400 years old. Yeah, there's something over here. Oh, what's this thing? This looks like wind. So how am I supposed to do this? Whoa, sounds like the big guy out there just took a step. The big guy up there took a step? No! <laughs> oh, okay, so apparently that's not how you do it. Uh, sure. Looks like some winds are stronger than others. Interesting. So what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I just started all over again. Uh... Okay, so we finally got that guy. That seems to be a pretty good strategy when you get stuck here, is to go back to. Because this guy is a pain in the butt. He keeps shoving you over here. But anyways, I've got two down, and I've got three more to go. I think I'm going to end up just saving here, because uh, once you get two down, the last two are tough. Let's go ahead and try this. So I found if I kind of just sort of hover in here... I'll kind of get pushed around a little, and it's actually not bad, because these two will kind of fight against each other, I guess. But I don't want to be anywhere near this one, because these guys can push me down as well. So, anyways, I don't know. Well, I'm trying to get rid of one of them. No such luck there. And again. There we go. So... This is where I'm going to save the game, because this is a crazy, crazy puzzle. Saving, yes. And then at least at this point, if I screw up, I'll just come back and I'll have two down. From that. I think I'm going to try and go up top and get this guy. I'm going to see how this works. Oh wow. <laughs> You're so cruel, you pushed me to the bottom. Whoa, that scared me. Get away from me. Alright, alright, so now we have three down. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. Again. And trust me, you're gonna want to do this too when you play this puzzle, because it's kind of frustrating when you get this far and then 
you fail. So I really I only have to worry about this one person here, so this won't be too bad. Um, as long as I am sticking around in here, just sort of hoping for the best. keep doing this back and forth and hope for the best here. I'm not going to do it over here because she'll push me and that'll be the end of that so it has to be in one of these rows. There you go. It sounds like air is going to the forge. Finally. Oh my goodness that was crazy. So I now have air. That was one of the elements I needed. My goodness, I hope I never see you ever again. <laughs> Crazy puzzle. We have heir to the forge. You, mister, you are trouble. So, so what? So I have heir to the forge. How does that help me? I don't know. I can hear it, but I don't know what to do with it. Okay, so I think we're done in here for now, and uh, we're going to leave here. Let's see if I can remember how to do this now. Uh, I need the Mars door, don't I? That's Mercury. Wait. Ah, uh, shoot. That's Mercury. Open. One. Open. And then it should be right here. Uh, <laughs> what have I done? I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh no. Nope. I thought it was opening twice and we were home. I have a feeling that's not the Mars door. Maybe that's... Would this be the Mars door? Oh, that's dangerous. I thought this was Mercury. Uh, this is not switching. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious what happens if I do to get a second chance. Okay. I am totally lost now, aren't I? Yep, I'm totally lost. I probably could have looked at my map, but that's too easy. I'll just go ahead and get lost here. So let me see here. Where the heck am I? So I'm right there. It is the Mercury door I'm supposed to go through. But I bet you it's moved now. Let's have a look. Nope, 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 nope. Get back in here. Yeah, okay. So it's the Mercury door. I am supposed to go through the Mercury door. But I have to get this to the right spot now. So, not the angel. That should be over in the corner. Yeah, okay, one more. And now we're good. We should be fine. Yay! See, I figured it out eventually. Uh, so, where should we go now? Hello? I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. Whoa, what the heck was that noise? That startled me. 
Alright, we're going higher and higher and higher. And we're here! So, just a little bit concerned here. Let me just go back down here for a second. I feel like I've missed something down here. Uh, uh, that's not it. Oh, uh, maybe it is. No, that's not it. So I can go this way. If I open the door now, I'll flood the place. Okay, so that's a bad idea. Well, maybe I do have to go up. I am lost. No surprise, right? So if I go this way... Where does this take me? Alright, well we're going up this way. It's time for us to say hello to the folks in the manor anyways. Maybe we'll make a quick phone call here. Okay... This is the people. Lotion! Oh, I guess she's not in here. Linda doesn't want to talk to us anyways. Oh, let's open it up. Oh. Hello? Hi, it's Ned. I've been dying to know how things are going there. What's the latest? Well, I've discovered some kind of medieval alchemy lab. Really? Where? Under the manor. And I mean way under the manor. In fact, I may be the only one in this place who knows about it. What's in it? Well, I was hoping to find the fabled pendle and treasure, but all there is in there is an old forge. Forge? Isn't the thing you use to heat metal and make swords and stuff? Right. So what are you going to do now? Well, actually, the forge looks like something I saw in that strange picture book Jane has that I told you about before, which means I should probably check it out more thoroughly. Probably hasn't been used for centuries. That's the thing. It looks like it has been used recently. I mean, relatively recently. Certainly within the past 50 years or so. What would someone be using a forge to make in this day and age? There was also this big keyhole in the lab. What about a key? No key. Well, there you go. Maybe that's what has to be forged. The key that goes in that keyhole? That'd be my guess. Wow, Ned, you're so smart. I'll talk to you soon. Just be careful over there. Alright, Nitty Boy. And this is a good place for us to take a break. I'm all alchemy, wind puzzled out. I need a break. We'll be back for more Nancy Drew very soon.